Self Storage, conveniently located near the Harmon McDonald's, offers fully covered loading and unloading area with individual pin-coated gate and door access. Call us today at 648-7867 for more information. Life is your journey. Travel drug free. And remember, who you are tomorrow because of what you do today. I won't do drugs so that in the future I can go to college in Washington State. Be a good father to healthy children. Learn a new language as Sebastian Biz Narcotica. Travel around the world. Dance my way to the top. Discover a new planet. Play volleyball with the big leagues. Donate my time to help children fight hunger. Where will your journey take you? Hafade, everybody, and thank you for starting your day the KUAM way. It is Wednesday, so we are in the middle of the week, and this is crime time where we go all over the island showing you the men and women who are working extra, extra hard to make sure that our island is safe, that we're all one island family, and that we know how to steer clear of bad situations. And, of course, we are wearing these wonderful red ribbons because it's Red Ribbon Month. Throughout the month of October, we are teaching young people, technically young and old, how to stay drug-free and how to make outstanding life choices. So today we are coming to you from Central Guam. We are in the wonderful village of Barragada, who plays our host today, and we are at the home of the Wildcats. We're at Antalan Middle School, and I have here some friends of mine, of course, Sergeant Paul Tapao with the Guam Police Department. Sarge, thanks for picking this uh, location for us today. Hey, Hafede, thanks for having us. And uh, this wouldn't have been possible if it wasn't for the, uh, the co-chairs of the Red Ribbon Committee. And uh, Sergeant Andre and Sergeant Uggen have been really a vital part with the success of uh, all the previous Red Ribbons and to include this one. So again, big congratulations to the students here at Ancelon for winning the video competition. Uh, it's, it's great to be a part of this again. You know, the Guam Police Department continues our efforts in assuring that we provide that education platform for the kids to make uh, good and sound decision makers or, or to become better decision makers in life. So okay. again, thank you guys. Yeah, and we have the two sergeants here. Uh, Sergeant Ogan, very nice to see you. Hafade. Good morning, Jason. Good morning, Guam. Hafade. Okay. And we have uh, Sergeant Ogan. Thank you so much. Hafade. Good morning, Jason. Okay. Uh, you guys have been working really, really hard again. Um, your duty is very, very tense because in service of our island and our nation, but this is a very personal mission that you're on too, and it is a mission to keep um, young people drug free on island. Absolutely, absolutely, definitely. You know, it's our mission within the whole Guam National Guard. Uh, as just each two as parents, we always want to know too that you know we make sure that we always uh, you know encourage our students to um, you know like Officer Tapao said to make sure that they uh, remain drug free, uh, good decision makers, and uh, you know do uh, good for our community overall. Mm -hmm. Now, how was it for you, for Sarge, when you were, because you were actually a judge for um, one of the videos, right? And we saw that wonderful video it just played before we started our interview. So how was it like, like, taking a look at seeing, like, the way young people say, I want to make good life choices. I don't want to go down that very slippery slope. It's very important over the years, uh, for as long as I've been with the program, uh, going on 15 year, uh, 16 years, uh, our main focus is to try and get the, the, all of the children, all the youth um, involved and in understanding the importance of staying, being drug free. Um, providing uh, and being that positive influence to the, to, for their peers. Uh, it's very important that the, that the children today uh, understand that they are responsible for their actions and of course the consequences which, with which the police department has always um, been focused on, on explaining to our youth and as well to our, our adults. Uh, but letting our kids know um, very, very much so that they need to, to take action in their own lives, understand what the consequences are, and be that friend um, to help somebody out. And that is, that is our message all the way through, uh, to, to take the initiative to be that leader, to be that leader, and, and also for, for others to follow. And that it's not wrong for you to make that, you know, make that choice. Uh, for you to say no, it's a cool thing. And we want these kids to understand that uh, things are changing, changing within our community. Uh, they see a lot of negative things that are impacting our island. Uh, you see it each and every day in the newspaper. And it's very important that we try and encourage and motivate our children each and every day from the home front to the schools and then of course being with the military and the police department and all of our other uh, committee um, members. Um, uh, we, that, is, that is our mission if you will, each and every year, but for the kids to, to remain and be drug free every day. Absolutely. Every day. Okay, Thank and you. I like, Sarge, the, way, the word that you use is message, and obviously we get an officer from the Guam Police Department and our friends from the military 
military come out here in full uniform. That makes a very big impression on young Guamanians who want to say, wow, these people took the time out of their day to come over here. They're talking to me. They're being positive. You know, they're not yelling at me and saying, don't do this, don't do that, and everything like that. Uh, Sarge, when you talk to young people about that and when you come out and show that you're you're passing down knowledge and wisdom, but that you actually care about them, even if you've never met them before. Technically, you may or may not be, we're all related on Guam, so. Sure. But what, what, how does that message get across and what do you take back from when, when the kids are responding to you? Uh, you know, Jason, when we, um, every time that we're able to, especially during this month, when we um, have the ability um, to go to the schools, whether it be all the way from our elementary to our high schools, uh, we also reach out to our public all the way up to our private schools and uh, our military, Dodea schools. We encourage and we really push that message whether it be um, you know like Sergeant Andre said we our biggest thing is to just make those smart choices make the right decisions um, we want them to encourage them to be positive role models and like you know Sergeant Andre mentioned um, it's it's great to be drug free we uh, impart to the fact that you know we all make life decisions um, you know how we start off and then just how you know where we want to go into life and that we are here um, and that we truly appreciate and that we're always here whether you see us uh, just coming to your school and giving a presentation mm -hmm. when you see us uh, next month uh, you know out at the mall or you see us at some fiesta uh, know that you can come to us and if you need a helping hand or if you need someone to talk to we're always here uh, that our members in the community whether you see us in uniform or in civilian clothes um, we will always be there to just kind of be that that listening ear and then always that positive role model that if there's something that we can do to assist or something just to even talk just to come out and just be like hi Sar Nugget how are you um, you know I had a great day today or hi Sar Nugget you know uh, are you available I just kind of need to talk so we're always here um, definitely um, and I come back and um, every each and every day I come home after doing a presentation and I'm like I know that even if I just made um, one child kind of think about you know maybe something that might be happening or just kind of going to the bus stop and saying no I'm okay or let me tell the teacher then I know that I'm making that difference and that we all are and in each of you ladies and all of your comrades and who knows over the weekend you guys may go to pay less and some kid may run up to you and be like, excuse me miss 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 remember you spoke at my school and you know you see it in their eyes you know the impact you've made on them Absolutely. For many years that has happened and it really makes me, um, I'm really happy. I'm really happy that I, I know that their takeaway was that they know that, they're, that the drugs that are out there, uh, the types, uh, types, of course the effects uh, of what'll, what it'll do to you if you were under the, under um, or influenced with the substance abuse uh, with drugs. But uh, what, most importantly, when our kids, when we go out and we instill motivation, encouragement, and uh, we actually tried something different the past couple of years is we actually have the kids come out, uh, come up in front of the school right before uh, we end our, our, um, our, our presentation. And we have our youth stand up in front of their peers and they tell their, their, their fellow students, their, their peers, why it is very important for them to be drug free. Mm -hmm. Send that message to them clearly and from peer to peer, from youth to youth coming and, and for them to, to, to communicate that um, and to give them that strength and that willpower, that's the start of something and, and we have to believe in it. So if we can make one difference, a difference in a child's life and we know that the takeaway is that when they're out there in the streets, whether it be in the bus stop, because in the early morning we all know, we see some of the kids that are smoking or vaping. And, and there's just so many things um, that are out there, those negative influences. We have to believe in which we, we know that um, the Red Ribbon efforts of the community, uh, we've, we've made some progress along with the police department. They're going to have that one, you know, voice in the back of their head is like, no, I better turn away. Mm -hmm. I have to walk away because I know I'm going to get in trouble and my parents are going to be upset. And it's just a whole you know, realm of everything that's just going to follow right after. Well, that's perfectly stated, yes. Sergeant. Tell you what, vir patience is a virtue, as is very often said. And we have three young people here at Antalan Middle School who have been very, very patient, waiting here, very well, uh, well disciplined. And congratulations to all of you, first of all, for winning the uh, video contest. Job well done. Uh, thank you, and we'd like to introduce them to you now representing their school. So can I get your name and your village and what grade you're in? Okay. Hafede, my name is Mia Elizabeth Napati. I am 8th grade and I'm from the village of Jotnia. Outstanding. Hafede, my name is Kier Diego and I'm from the village of Barragada and I'm 8th grade. Hafede, my name is Anthony Charfris. I'm 8th grade and I'm from the village of Mangilao. Okay, and you guys are proud Wildcats, right? Yes. yes. All right, okay. So first of all, let, let's get a shot right there, and oh, let's get Sergeant Tapao back in here. Okay, red ribbons up, you guys. Yeah, yeah look at that. There you go, okay.
Okay, so um, Sarge, let's uh, let's talk about this, and we'll we'll get the um, the feedback from the kids too. The theme this year is very clearly here. Uh, send a message. How are you resonating that, and how do you actually get those words to really make an impact on these kids? You know, this this is a great opportunity. Um, last month we featured recovery. You know, uh, with, with the battle of addiction, and uh, we showcase a lot of our our constituents throughout the island who are going through that. And this right now, this moment where these guys are at, these young aspiring kids. Uh, students from from Antelana Middle School, they have the power. Like what the, the two sergeants had mentioned, they have the ability to empower other their their fellow their fellow classmates in making better choices. Anthony and I have a, a real uh, strong connection because through sports and understanding how how a coach and a uh, an athlete, the communication and everything and how it really uh, resonates. It's really they understand the message that we're saying and. Uh, the, the, the sport of choice is soccer, and as a coach, you know, we always implore the, uh, the, posit- the positive aspects of the game by always encouraging the players by making good decisions. Okay, and Anthony, who's your favorite soccer player? Uh, Joshua Kimmich. Okay, very nice. I thought you were going to say Messi, but he's, he's really, really good too. Uh, he plays for FC Bayern Munich in Germany yep. in the Bundesliga. So Very, that's legit talent right there. Yeah. Okay, uh, how is how is the Sarge influencing you? And not only to say, hey, he made an impact on me, but now I can actually take this to my classmates, my cousins, you know, my my neighbors down the street. What does that mean to you? It just means like whatever you see on the street, even if it's even if it's good or like if you see drugs or you see someone doing drugs on the street, like don't try and do that because like my like my teammate. Pat, my teammate in the past, Jirai Sangil, like he always uh, encouraged me not to do drugs, even if someone said that it might be cool. So yeah, I just follow their role and like they really inspire me. All right, good job, man. That's Outstanding work. Okay. That's, a, that's really good. It's, you know, Jiraiya, Jirai Sangil is actually the goalkeeper, and uh, you know they play, they, they actually mirror each other in, uh, on the pitch as a goalkeeper. But Anthony plays in the pitch, and you know, hearing that from the back, your back captain, I think it's important, and that's where that's where the peer mentorship comes in. Uh, to the world of sports, but you know these are student athletes. Uh, these 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 students actually are are actually students to the right. I mean, she plays tackle gridiron football. I'm like, all right. Oh. So, so you know these guys can give a spill about the importance of uh, you know the decision makings that the skills that they make throughout their their school year, and of course understanding how they can actually utilize that uh, on and off the school. You know, okay. being well, surrounded by their peers. Well, let's go in here. For, okay, so uh, ladies, which one of you is into tackle football? All right. What, what's your favorite uh, position in football? Well, so far, it's running back and safety. And it's a pretty, a pretty hard job, but you need a team, a team to do it with you. All right. So, so running back, you're running away from the tacklers. If you play safety, you got to knock somebody down. Would you rather hit or be hit? i hit someone. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, now, how, how is it for you, ladies, um, because it's one thing for like you know like adults and like old people like us to come out and say we want to help you, we you know we were where you guys are at you know 20 25 years ago and everything like that. But your fellow classmates again you know your peers they put so much trust in you because you guys are in the same group you see each other every day you guys sit in class you go to lunch in the cafeteria. Uh, what is it like when you guys take a leadership role as you have and you're wearing these red ribbons and telling your classmates hey this isn't just something we're doing for a school project I actually really believe this and we should do this together. Well, sometimes it can be overwhelming from the students that don't like to pay attention, but from the students that do like to listen to us, it kind of it kind of helps our job even more because we know that there are kids out there that do want to stay drug free and that want to keep their bodies healthy. Mm-hmm. Okay, how about you? Are you finding that um, when when you talk to your your friends and your classmates and everything like that, are, are is the message coming across? Yes, they always tell me that you're being a positive role model to not them, but everyone in the school. And that encourages us to keep going and know that someone out there is listening to us and making, making us uh, keep going to be who, who they want to be at us. And you can also tell them, you know, you can do what we call tough love and you can say, okay, if you make bad choices and you do drugs, I'll see you on the football field. Yes, <laughs> yes they also have a voice too, not just us, but everyone, even your peers, your neighbors, and everyone. Okay, so, so Paul, th- I mean, this really is a mission for, you know, our friends in the Guard and friends like you at GPD, but, but it's also about just genuinely caring. And you, you, bring, you bring that and, you know, the fact that you want to take care of the next generation of Guamanians. Absolutely. You know, I mean, the, uh, you, you can hear it in the voices. Uh, Sergeant Andre, Sergeant Nugan, they have the passion and they have the, uh, you know, 
the commitment, and it really is, and I, I use it a lot when I used to coach. Uh, if you don't have the passion and the motivation, you're not going to succeed past being stuck in the mud. Um, they have the passion, they have the drive, and really it's sending that message, to, to, the ability to empower people, just to make, just to become better decision makers. Um, she, Ms. Diego, echoed it quite well when she said it takes a team to really uh, play a sport. It takes a team, it takes a community, and from us to send that message to them, it, it really makes a greater impact when the peer at that level sends the message of positivity throughout the community and whether they use an avenue such as sports or through school or the climate and the environment that's created here in the school and i'll be remiss if i don't bring to the attention of the uh, principal here uh, miss agnes guerrero uh, she has been a true um, motivator and really inspiring the kids to do better i mean they've they've it showcased you know with with them winning the video competition i know agnes and uh, miss guerrero you want to you want to come in the shot and have, say a few words She's back. We can spin the camera around. Let's go over to her and everything. So, it's it's okay. First of all, uh, congratulations. Thank you for having us here at Antalan. We we really appreciate the opportunity. Oh, I'm glad you came out, and you're always welcome here at Louis P. Antalan Middle School. Okay. Wait, wait a minute. Where, where's your, where's your red ribbon? Oh, I I have it. I, okay. No 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 <laughs> I doubt. Wore it yesterday, and I I have it stored okay. away. And, and this this is not just a particular small group of students. We're not just doing this for like a little club. This is a oh. school-wide effort to make sure that kids get the message to stay drug-free, correct? Oh, absolutely. And the students here, you know, hearing it from their peers, coming from them themselves, really uh, sends a strong message. You know, I know the faculty and the staff, they, every day is not just Red Ribbon Week or, you know, that particular day. It's throughout the school year and every day because they are our future and everyone's going to be impacted, you know, in the whole community in our island. And we always want the best, best for our island, best for our school. And I'm just very proud of our students here and especially our student body for carrying on that mission in every day of the school life. Well, so. thank you very much. And, and you know, I've spent enough time in the principal's office, so I, I, don't, I want to remain in your good graces. So let's, let's go wrap up right now and talk to our friends. Once again, Sarge, 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 uh, Captain Dave Brantley, their commanding officer, is here as well, as well as the kids. So um, guys, I just want to get, I'll go, go down the line here. Um, I want to get your final thoughts on what it means to be part of the Guam family and to be able to just take care of each other because you're, Additionally, learning from these kids and the feedback that they're giving you. It's not just some agenda, you know, you're not just going through boom, 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 boom. I'm done with my presentation, I'm out, and everything like that. What are you learning from them? I'm trying to, I'm trying to understand what our peers, what our youth, uh, what they are dealing with today, um, of course, and, it, and it, go, it goes along with my family as well. So whatever I learn, and, and they're teaching us a whole, a whole array of what's been going on, um, it's it's a positive thing. My 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 additional comment for for especially for the youth and then when we're going out and doing our presentations is, hang out with motivating motivated people, stay encouraged. You you have that positive attitude in life. You have that positive, uh, uh, you know, each and every day when you come into school. I mean, share that that positive that positive feeling and motivation, and it'll take 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 you along. A long way, you know, and so thank you for teaching us so that we can better um, assist in, in trying to find the right resources when we go out uh, and we do the education uh, uh, outreaches because uh, the committee, the Red Ribbon Committee, it consists of about 40, 40 um, organizations, federal, government, and even uh, private organizations that have all of the wonderful resources that, that we can, uh, they can, they can provide for all of our students, for mm -hmm. students, parents, faculty, uh, and it's really just knowledge. It's, it's what we need to know, what we need to understand. See kids, what you're doing to her, that is a highly trained non-commissioned officer, a very, very highly decorated, and she's getting emotional right here, so. <laughs> you have to care uh, very much for, again, you're never gonna end, uh, or it's never gonna get old when we continue to say each and every time we go out to the schools, you are the future. One day you may be the governor, you may be the general, you may be the president of the United States. So the dreams, the expectations, I mean, sky's the limit. But the only way that you can achieve those goals is if you stay drug free. And that's, that's the truth. That's the honest truth. And just understand that there's so many wonderful people, the law enforcement there by your side, and family and friends that we are all here to help our youth. So, right, we're, well, we're thank you. Uh, Sergeant Ogan, may I ask, what part of the island uh, do you hail from? Um, I live in Talafofo, down south. Okay, so, well, as part of Southern hospitality is very well known, but also Southerners take care of each other. We don't leave our neighbors behind. Absolutely. What does it mean to you to be able to interact with these, these young people and just teach them? It's like, hey, 
this is the way we do things on the island. We don't want each other to get hurt. We want to make sure that everybody's happy. Um, it is crucial. It's critical. Um, and, you know, you, you said it absolutely correct, Sergeant Andre, you know, all the kids, uh, Officer Tapao, um, we, everybody, um, whether you be from a business organization to a military, law enforcement, civilian, students, adults, uh, we are here to take care of each other. Um, we are definitely here to support, uh, lend that helping hand, and um, absolutely coming from the South. Um, and you know, like Sergeant Andre said, as I listen to the kids and I just, it coming to the schools really just kind of grounds me. It kind of gives me that, um, you know, perspective of what they're experiencing, what they're uh, dealing with on a day to day. And yeah, absolutely, you know, we're kind of on that older spectrum. So we know that, you know, times have changed from when we were growing up. So we've got to adjust to that um, but you know um, if I could do the same thing like Sergeant Andre you know I think my biggest message to them would be to uh, stand tall mm -hmm. stand proud um, you know don't be afraid to just say no and to make those right decisions because we are all here to support you um, your family your friends you know all of us here um, but we are so proud of each and every decision that you guys make you know because we can already see the successes that it's showing and then what it's proving and then you know we look forward to seeing greater things all right thank you Sergeant. and that is why Southern Guamanians make some of the best military personnel ever in the world. We don't leave people behind. We never leave anyone behind. Absolutely. All right. Shout out to Southern Guam right now. So, uh, ladies, we'll give you guys like, the final. Is there any, uh, speaking of shout outs, uh, do you want to say hi to anybody like watching right now, any of your classmates, any of your family members? I don't think any of my classmates go on Facebook. <laughs> okay. So, well, if, if they find us, we'll tag, you know, we'll, we'll make sure to tag your school and everything like that. So, um, what, what message would you like to give to people from maybe from other schools, other students? Drugs get you nowhere in life. It's better to achieve more by doing sports and working on your academic work than to be doing something bad that won't get you anywhere in life. Very smart. Good job. Thank you very much. Okay, how about um, our outstanding running back in safety? Uh, what, what knowledge would you like to pass down to other people who might be watching? Well, you have a voice and use it. Say no to drugs. Do not be pressured by it because you only have one life, so make every second count. All right, yeah. very good. Okay, and our soccer star, may I say, what is the goal <laughs> of, of what you want to teach people? The goal, or what I've learned from Red Ribbon Week, means to, like, not do drugs, not only for the week that Red Ribbon Week is, but, like, for a lifetime, and, like, try and stay drug-free, and it's okay to say no. So, yeah. All right, okay. So, tell you what, let's get everybody in here, even, even and let's do this one more time. Red Ribbon's up, you guys. Cap, if you would. Yep. You don't mind joining us? Real quick, uh, some, some really important notes. We have the Just Say Boo, uh, October 31st. We invite the community to come out. All right. That's at the Aganya Shopping Center from 4 to 6 p.m. Uh, wear your best costumes. We will be doing a reward, uh, reward presentation. Uh, the outreach for the Red Ribbon is on October, Saturday, October 27th at the Micronesian Mall. Uh, come on out and, and you know enjoy the facilities. But again, you know this is an opportunity to bring change to the community. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Mrs. Guerrero. Thank you, uh, Captain uh, Brantley. And of course, thank you. The, the really important people right now are the students. So this is where the effort, this is where the mission, and this is where the goal lies is with the kids. So thanks again, Jace. All right. Appreciate thank it. you, guys. And what, awesome. you guys want to all say, say the same thing on one, two, three, send a message? OK, are we ready? OK, this is the only time you guys can actually make noise in school, right? OK, so ready? Let's make it loud. Let's make sure all the, OK, ready? One, two, three. Send a message. Stay drop free. Right. That's what it's all about, everybody. Thank you for starting your day the KWM way. This is Crime Time. We'll see you next time.